Now that we have an image added to our web page, notice that it's still so huge and doesn't fit on the screen. We can fix that with using a little CSS. Don't worry, we're going to cover CSS in depth in later videos, but for now, we will show how to make a responsive image. In the head section of the web page, we are going to add another meta tag. And in this tag, we will name the viewport and we will tell the content to be the width of the device we were using, whether that is a mobile device or a wider desktop. And we will tell its initial scale to be one. Below this, this, we will add our first CSS. We will add a style tag and then so we don't forget to close it, we will close the style tag. Inside this tag, we will type IMG. This will target all instances of images on our page. Then we will add curly braces. Notice that Adam automatically closes the curly braces. Inside this, we will type with colon 100% then add a semicolon. On a new line, let's type height colon auto then semicolon. Save your work, then go to your web browser and reload your index page. Notice now, as we drag the corner of our browser, the image moves and scales automatically. The width is always 100% and the height is auto to maintain the same aspect ratio. This is how you can make responsive images. We will talk about how to have external style sheets later.